Okay, okay, so we looked at the law of conservation of mass. Matter is not created or destroyed, it just changes form. Or you get out what you put in. We're going to apply that now to balancing equations, writing equations of chemical reactions that obey that law of the universe that can't be broken. So balancing equations, and equations is like a recipe. Here's a pizza recipe. Dough, tomato sauce, and cheese. You add them all together, and they turn into, with this arrow, pizza. What you put in are called the reactants. They then react and become, or produce, products. So reactants react, and products are produced. And you can't get out more than you put in. That's what balancing equations is all about. And before we actually start and see any equations, I want you in your notebook to write down my five steps. All right. There are four steps to just getting set up. The first one, we write the equation nice and big across the page. I mean lots of space. We're going to have to write things in it and around it and change it. So don't make it all tiny in a little corner. Write it big. Then we put placeholders for the coefficients. I'll show you all of this in a moment. Um, just want you to make sure you've got it written down somewhere where you can look at it whenever you need to. Placeholders for the coefficients. The coefficients whoopsie, mean how many how many you've got. Then you're going to draw a line under the arrow and list the elements on both sides. Then you've set it up. Then you count, check, change, count, check, change, count, check, change, count, check, change. You go around in a circle. So here's our first equation. We've got hydrogen plus oxygen make water, H2O. H2 plus O2 make H2O. So I've written them big across the page. Do you see I've left space around them? I've also added the placeholders. Let's see. I've got a copy of the steps here for us. I've written placeholders for the coefficients that go in front. That's the only place we can actually change things in the equation. I've drawn a line under the arrow and I've listed the elements on both sides. We've got H hydrogen and O oxygen. And we've got the same elements over here. And now we're going to do this counting, checking and changing. Let's have a look. Let's count. How many H's do I have? How many hydrogens? I got H2, that means I've got two hydrogens. There's a little picture. So I'm going to write it down next to the hydrogen. How many oxygens do I have? I have O2, I've got two oxygens. How many on this side, on the product side? I've got H2O, I've got H2, that's two oxygens. And O with nothing next to it, that means there's just one. We've got one oxygen. Okay, so I have counted. Now I check it. Is it balanced? Well, I got two H's, two H's, that's good. Two O's, one O, that's not good. That's not right yet. At the moment, one of these oxygen atoms is disappearing from the universe. If that happens too often, we'd run out of oxygen. It just can't happen. It doesn't happen. Our equation is not correct. It's not balanced. So we've got to change our equation. We need more oxygen on this side. So there must be two waters being produced. So now I've changed it. 
I can only change these numbers. I can't write a 2 there, because then I'd be making hydrogen peroxide, and that's not what happens when you mix uh, react hydrogen and oxygen. You make water. So we've changed it. We go back and we count. Now I've got two H2Os. I've drawn a little picture here to help out. We've got two H2Os. That means I got two times as much. I got two times two H's makes four. And two times one oxide makes two. And we can count them here. One, two, three, four hydrogens and two oxygens. So I've changed it. I've counted it. Now I check it again. Is it balanced? Two, four. No. I need more hydrogen on this side. Only thing I can change is that. So now I've got two H2s. Two H2s. Two times two is four. Okay, now I can check it again. Four, four, two, two. Yes, it's balanced. Sometimes you might get asked for the ratio of coefficients. Ratio of... I really shouldn't try and write on this thing, should I? It's impossible. Okay, the ratio of coefficients. That would be the coefficients. Two. There's a one there. We don't write it because chemists don't write ones. 2 to 1 to 2. Okay, let's do another one. Calcium plus oxygen makes calcium oxide. We've got the reactants reacting to make the product. I've drawn the big, I've put the placeholders in, I've drawn the line under the arrow, I've listed the elements, now I count. Calciums, I've got one. Oxygens, I've got two. Calciums, I've got just one. One. Now I check it. Is it balanced? Yes. No. I need more oxygen. I can't put a two here. That's not possible. Calcium oxide is CaO, not CaO2. So I must have two of these. Now I changed it. I count. I've got two CAOs. I used to have just one. Now I've got two. So I've got twice as much calcium and twice as much oxygen. I've counted, so I check it. One, two. No, that's not balanced. So I change it. I must need two of these. One, two. Now I check it again. Two, 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 two. It's balanced. So my ratio of coefficients is two to one to two. Two to one to two. Let's do another one. H2 plus N2 makes NH3. Mm. Okay, let's count them up. H's, I've got two. Nitrogens, I've got two. And on this side, H's, I've got three. Nitrogens, I've got one. Do you see how they're in the same order? It's H's on top, N's on the bottom. It just makes it easier, especially when you've got lots of elements, to just check it. It makes the checking easier. So let's look. Is it balanced? I've got two, three. No, I need more hydrogen on this side. So let's put a 2 up here. Now I've got twice as much hydrogen as I started with. So I've got 2 times 2 is 4. Uh, 4, 3. It's still not right. So I need more hydrogen on this side now, so I better put a 2 here. Now I've got 2 times NH3. That means I've got 2 times N is 2. And 2 times H3 is 6. Check it again. i got 4 and 6. So I'm still not right. I must need more hydrogen on this side. So let's have another hydrogen on this side. 
now I've got three H2s. Well, three H2s is three times two is six. So that's looking better. Now I've got six and six and two and two. I'm balanced. So this time my ratio was three to one to two. I'm going to let you try the next one by yourself. It is HCl plus Mg makes H2 plus MgCl2. So pause the video now. Write this in your notebook. Write it nice and big across the page. You don't have to draw the pictures unless you want to. Draw a line under it, put your placeholders in, list your elements, and then count, check, and change until it's balanced on both sides. So pause the video now and give it a shot. Oh, I'm still here. You paused? Okay. Now, let's count. HCL, I got one, one, and one. H2, two. CL2 MG1. Okay, let's check it. H's. No, I need more H's. I'll have two HCLs. Two HCLs means I've got two H's and two CLs. Now I check it. Two, 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 one, one. Hooray! It's balanced. So my ratio of coefficients was two to one to one. To what? Ready for another? Here you go. Off you go. Uh, I'm not really paused. You're pausing now. Okay. Cl2 NaBr makes NaCl plus Br2. So I got two Cls, one Na. 1 BR, 1 CL, 1 NA, 2 BRs. So I need more CL on this side. We'll put a 2 up there. Now I've got 2 NAs and 2 CLs. 2, 2, 1, 1. Okay, so I need more sodium on this side. Put a 2 there. So now I've got two NAs and two BRs. So I've got one to two to two to one. 